Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to take a look at the numbers that we can get if we invest in a solar system for apartments. Now I've done, especially in my Puchkis channel, a lot of content in terms of installing solar systems. If you haven't checked that out, I will leave a link down below so that you can check it out. And although it's in Portuguese, you will be able to understand everything that is there. You don't need to learn the language. Now regarding this particular system for apartments, I also did two videos so far, one of which was the installation, which there will be a link down below, and one of which was also one month later, the feedback that we had in terms of numbers. But that second video probably is not necessary for you because I'm going to share with you the info that I have and ultimately if it's an investment that is worth it or not and which cases might be better, which cases might be worse. One of the things that might be helpful is if you want to purchase a Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition Pro Edition key at a budget, don't forget to check the link down below for b &H Software, which is a platform that we have been working for the past few months with great prices. They also have Office 2021 and other kinds of software, but those were the ones that we have tested successfully, purchasing, activating and working flawlessly. Now, looking at the system, in terms of installing, this is the system that it's uh, targeted at people that don't have space, roof space especially, and want to install solar panels on a apartment, for example. And in my opinion, it is worth it in some cases. There are some cases that I've got some difficulty in terms of the financial investment. Now, I've got a lot of things, numbers right over here, which I will share with you. One of the things that I would like to share is I live in Portugal, I'll Algarve, so this is one of the important factors to have in mind when doing the calculations. These are my numbers depending on where you live in the world they might be different and also i will be talking about the direction of the panels depending if they are south north and so on and so forth and this is important for you to make the calculations where i'm located so that you can see for yourself what you could get if you had these panels now having that in mind what we did right over here the first month we did um, the panels turning to south and uh, with zero inclination, so straight, we got 0 0.86 kilowatts of production per day. If we did an inclination of 15 degrees, we had 1.6 kilowatts per day. And if we did 30 degrees, we had 2.1 kilowatts per day of production. Now, at this moment, I'm paying 20 cents per kilowatt here, more or less. So what we have here per day in terms of saving is 17 cents. Well, this is, these are the numbers. You can see that and we have euros here in Portugal. If you have dollars or any other currency, you just need to make the calculations on your current currency. This is the savings per month and this is the savings per year. So looking at these numbers right over here, I would say that someone that is located on more or less the same area than I and has a front to the south, then it's a great investment because in no time we will have the investment back. And when we mean no time, we are talking about six, seven years to get our return of investment. Now, this was the first month of testing and then I also did another tests right over here and what I'm going to share with you is um, on another location which is in my house which I've got more space than on the first house where I did the tests on a friend of mine what we did was with uh, south zero degrees inclination we had 1.35 kilowatts per day when we have panels uh, towards where the sunset is, which is the second best position, then we have 1.02. When we have the panels where the sunrise is, which is not so good, we have 0 0.7 and then we also have the panels facing north, which is the worst position possible, then we have 0 0.54 as average. This will give the savings per day, per month, and per year. So as you can see, North is not very attractive in terms of the investment, although I will not criticize anyone that wants to save 40 euros per year, because 40 euros is not bad. And if the prices of energy keep on rising, these 40 can change and be a lot more. Now, before we go to these two numbers, which are projections, uh, I want to show you something interesting here. Now, the app that comes with the system is a two-year 
a smart meter but to see if the smart meter is accurate or not i use shelly because shelly we have tested a lot if you don't know what it is i will leave some links down below as well and what we have right over here is the shelly app and what we have here this is south the number from south and as you can see the graphic it is really uniform this was a nice day and then we have the panels facing the sunset so as we can see in the morning the sun is at the back of the panel so when it rises is at the back and then at the mid of the day bam it gives us this great power here and it will go uh, up to the end of the day almost with a really high value so this is a good really good position we have only 1.02 not a huge loss compared to uh, south position now if we face the panel to the sunrise what happens is that we will have as you can see here by the hours at nine o'clock for example we'll have a great exposure because the sun rises and it will be facing the panel so we will get a lot but as soon as we hit about half 12 o'clock one o'clock then it will start to decline and it will go really really low values right over here so we can see that we have 0 0.7 kilowatts per hour right over here which is not that good and then we have the north now have in mind this number right over here the graphic should be uh, like this i should cut these two bars because my north is not the uh, well exactly all of them they are not the true south it is a little bit to the southeast and so on and so forth so the north what happens is that when they are facing north here they will catch a little bit of the sunrise and this is what we see right over here when the sun rises it will go here and it will catch a little bit of the panels and it will give this extra boost so what happens is if you are really facing north straight north then this will be a curve similar to this one right over here but with lower values so i would say 0 0.45 or something like that but these are the numbers that i have so these are the numbers that i'm sharing with you now these graphics are great because we have an idea how things work and we have done these tests with other panels like the hyundai 480 watts if you search the channel you'll find it and you'll find a lot more info on my portuguese channel because i do a lot more videos there regarding this subject now uh, in theory here what i did was if i had on the first scenario 0 0.86 with zero inclination 1.6 with 15 and 2.1 with 30 then if i grab this number which is my uh, location at south zero inclination and if i give 15 degrees inclination i would get something like this 2.6 and if i give it 30 uh, degrees inclination i would get 3.7 kilowatts so if I get these numbers, then the savings are different and we can see the numbers right over here that we could get up to 187 uh, if we had this inclination and 266 if we had 30 degrees. And this might be the most interesting number if we have this exposure and we can lift them. And this will work especially for the summer. For the winter, the sun is lower. So... Uh, the better angle is 90 degrees so that the sun is directly to the panels but these are the most interesting numbers right over here of course these are theoretical theoretical sorry and all these are facts so these are all facts two different locations this is one location and this is another location this is where i live as i said so in my opinion what i can conclude is that all of these scenarios are really nice and if you ask me hey robert should i invest in such a system my answer would be mostly yes the only one that i do really see difficult is north when you're facing north and even when you are facing the sunrise these two are difficult to say yes but my answer would be really fair here if someone would ask me hey robert I'm facing north but I want to invest because I do believe that 40 euros is not that bad and to me instead of having 1000 euros on the bank I will expand here and then it doesn't matter how many years I will recover my money but I know that I'm saving I'm helping the environment and I'm learning with this then I've got no arguments at all to say hey that's wrong no I, I would value that and I would say yeah great on the other hand, if someone comes to me and says, hey, Robert, I'm facing north and I do believe that it's not worth it to invest 
um, the money on the panels uh, because the return of investment is really slow and I do prefer to invest the money on somewhere else or keep the money uh, there just sitting, doesn't matter. Then I would have to say the same thing, which is I totally understand that point of view and I will not criticize saying, hey, you are this or that, you should invest. No, I do believe that any of these positions are really fair. On the other hand, if you ask me, hey Robert, I'm facing south or I'm facing sunset, then there is a great way of investing because even on the worst case scenario, which was this one right over here, or looking at the best case scenario right over here, it is, in my opinion, an investment that will get back really soon. And if the prices of energy keep on rising, then even sooner. I'm not really sure if I mentioned I am paying 0.20 cents per kilowatt, so just have that in mind. And that is it, guys. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. Links down below for a lot of info and it would be great to see you on the Portuguese channel. If you go there by some reason, forget to give a comment either on Portuguese or English. I will try to answer and give you that thumbs up. If the video was helpful in some way, don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.